Hey kids, come on, let's set up our chessboard. This is gonna be so much fun. I like this lesson. So look, this is how the chessboard looks like, right? We have king and the queen in the middle of the board. Remember, white queen goes to white color and black queen goes to black color. Now, in the corner, we have the rooks. Rooks are powerful pieces, right? Next to the rooks are knights. And then we have a bishops next to the queen and the king. Now look, one bishop is on dark color and the other one is on white color. They have to stay on the same color until the end of the game. And then we have eight pawns. Look, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pawns in front of our chess pieces. Without the pawns, game of chess cannot be played. So they are protecting not only a king, but they are protecting other chess pieces as well. So let's see, uh, how do we set up the chess board? You need to help me here. Look, we have a rooks. We know they have to go to the corner. We also know the rooks can move side to side. So look, if we take this rook and we just move side to side, we can put our rook into the corner, all right? Let's try this one. We go to the left side and here we are. That's how we set up the rooks in the corner. Now we have to see the knights, right? We have to, this knight here is okay. We can just go and jump and we are in the right place, right? But how about this knight? We have to jump two times to get to this star. So you think about it. You need to play two moves to get to the star. Did you find this move? And then here, all right, we play knight to e1, knight to f3, and then we go to g1, all right? So let's see the bishops. Bishops are, uh, this one here goes diagonally, so we can, we can just move the bishop back and here we are. But how about this one? So we have to play here two moves. We play bishop to d3 and then we can take a star. So that's the correct place for the bishops. And now we have to set up king and a queen, right? The queen needs to go here to d1 because the queen goes to her own color. So we need two moves. Let's play move like this, right? And then we can go diagonally. Here we are, right? King, king is slow. So we need three moves to, to get here to e1. So we go back, one move, second, and here we are. And that's how you set up the chess pieces. Pay attention, the rooks are in the corner. King and a queen in the middle of the board. Bishops are next to the king and a queen and the knights next to the rooks. I hope you can remember this. You have to practice, right? Now, one other important thing about uh, the chess board is that in your left corner, look where this rook is, has to be dark color, right? So if you uh, look at your left corner when you set up the chess pieces, it has to be the dark color. Or white pieces, they have to be set up on number one and two. You see the numbers on the side? Number one and two is for white pieces and number seven and eight is for the black pieces. So if you set up the pieces right way, then you cannot make a mistake with the queen and the king. Okay, so this is our chess board. Now we have to start playing. We have to play one move. How about you think about your move and I'm gonna think about my move. I'm thinking, um, hmm, I want to jump with a knight because I like that knight can jump over other chess pieces. Okay, great. So you have to practice now. Just set up the pieces and, and, and play them. You can play them here on, on, on Lee Chess against the computer, or you can uh, play, of course, with your mom and dad. Okay, see you in our next lesson. Bye-bye.